So, let us have some interactive problem solving sessions by, by students who have taken this course. Uh, so, you will see some uh, illustrations and examples into problem solving uh, which is useful to understand and digest the concepts learnt during the lectures. So, uh, this problem appeared in MMS, MMTSP course in ISC in fall 2016 in the first midterm exam. So, the problem is as follows. Let V be a vector space and suppose W1 and W2 are subspaces of V. You have to show that W1 plus W2 is a subspace of V of V. that contains w1 and w2. So, uh, let us proceed as follows. So, first of all you have to show that w1 plus w2 is a subspace. So, for this you have to prove three properties which are as follows. First of all you have to show that w1 plus w2 is non-empty. So, as w1 and w2 are subspaces so zero vector belongs to w1 and zero vectors belongs to w2 as well so therefore zero plus zero vector which is zero vector that belongs to w1 plus w2. So, we have proved that w1 plus w2 is non empty. So, next we have to show that w1 plus w2 is closed under addition. So, for this we proceed as follows. So, let x 1 be a vector in w 1 and y 1 be a vector in w 2. So, therefore, x 1 plus y 1 belongs to w 1 plus w 2. Similarly, let x 2 be a vector in w 1 and y 2 be a vector in w 2. So, it implies that x 2 plus y 2 belongs to w 1 plus w 2. Now, let us consider these two vectors x 1 plus y 1 and x 2 plus y 2. If we show that the sum of these vectors also belongs to w 1 plus w 2, then we have proved that w 1 plus w 2 is closed under addition. So, let us do that. So, so the sum of the vectors can be written as and can be rearranged into x 1 plus x 2 plus y 1 plus y 2. Now, we know that this x 1 and x 2 these vectors belongs to w 1 and y 1 and y 2 belong to w 2. So, the sum of those vectors will also belong to w 1. 
So if we So therefore, uh, the sum of the complete thing belongs to W1 plus W2. Therefore, So, we have shown that uh, W1 plus W2 is closed and addition. Now, the next thing you have to prove is that W1 plus W2 is closed under scalar multiplication. So, for that let let us consider a vector x 1 which belongs to w 1 and x 2 which belongs to w 2. We know that x 1 plus x 2 belongs to w 1 plus w 2. Now, if we show that a uh, scalar uh, multiplication of this uh, to this vector x 1 plus x 2 this also belongs to w 1 plus w 2 then we have proved that uh, it is closed under scalar multiplication. So, let us consider consider alpha x 1 plus x 2 where alpha belongs to the real field. Now, this alpha x 1 plus x 2 can be written as alpha x 1 plus alpha x 2. Now, this alpha x 1 belongs to w 1 because w 1 is a subspace and it should be closed under scalar multiplication. Similarly, alpha x 2 belongs to w 2. So, the vector alpha x 1 plus x 2 belongs to w 1 plus w 2. So, we have shown that w 1 plus w 2 is closed under scalar multiplication. So, we have uh, successfully proved that uh, w 1 plus w 2 is indeed a subspace. Now, the next thing you have to prove is that uh, w 1 plus w 2 contains w 1 and w 2. So, for that let x 1 let x 1 be any vector in w 1. So, this x 1 can be written as x 1 plus 0. Now, this x 1 belongs to w 1 and as 0 vector belongs to any subspace. So, this 0 belongs to w 2. So, therefore, this x 1 plus 0 belongs to w 1 plus w 2, which is nothing but the x 1 vector belongs to w 1 plus w 2. So, this implies that any vector in w 1 is also contained in w 2 uh, w 1 plus w 2. Similarly, let x 2 belongs to w 2, 
any vector in W 2, this x 2 can be written as 0 plus x 2, this 0 vector belongs to W 1 and x 2 belongs to W 2. So, therefore, 0 plus x 2 belongs to W 1 plus W 2. Therefore, x 2 also belongs to subspace W 1 plus W 2. So, any vector in W 2 is also contained in W 1 plus W 2. So, we have shown that W 1 is contained in W 1 plus W 2 and W 2 is contained in W 1 plus W 2. So, we have proved that uh, uh, W 1 plus W 2 contains W 1 and W 2. Now, the next thing we have to prove is that, so we have proved that W 1 plus W 2 is a subspace, we have, to shown, we have to show that W 1 plus W 2 is contained in V. show this, uh, let us consider a vector x which belongs to w 1 plus w 2. So, according to the definition, x can be broken down into two vectors, one in subspace w 1, one in w 2. So, there exists x 1 belongs to w 1 and x 2 belongs to W 2 such that x is equal to x 1 plus x 2. Now, we know V contains W 1 and W 2. Therefore, x 1, x 2 this are present in the vector space V. So, as V is a vector space, so x 1 plus x 2 should also be in V. So, and x 1 plus x 2 this belongs to w 1 plus w 2, which is uh, x itself, right. So, therefore, we have proved that w 1 plus w 2 is contained in the vector space V. So, we have proved, so first of all we proved that W 1 plus W 2 is a subspace, then we showed that W 1 plus W 2 contains W 1 and W 2 and then we finally showed that W 1 plus W 2 is contained in V. So, uh, in this ends the problem.